Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is going to be another runway beauty makeup look kind of video because I will be going through the makeup looks for Paris Fashion Week and this is the last week of Fashion Month. I have done three other videos for this particular Fashion Month which is Fall Winter 2019. They're on my channel. They have their own playlist. It'll be up in the card so if you haven't seen those videos I'd highly suggest checking them out even before this one but today we're going to be going through the makeup looks from the Paris runways. There's so many amazing looks that are gracing the runways for this particular week and I have selected a few to share with you guys and of course all the sources and all the photos will be linked down below. Let's start out with a bang. Let's go into this with Rick Owens. Now the makeup artist for Rick Owens was Diane Kendall and the models for this show were like transformed into these like alien, well in my opinion, like alien, like otherworldly type creatures. They had a lot of uh, body modification, they had a lot of prosthetics that were used. And the designer Rick Owens even stated that body modification was the new tattoo. And these models had black out eyes, protruding foreheads, cheek implants, and talons and surprisingly like the blackout eye trend was something that we saw in a lot of different uh runway shows most notably i'd say balenciaga where models went down the runway with like these red eyes and for rick owens they had like these blackout eyes and i personally really do like this sort of uh trend that we're seeing on the runway makeup looks uh with models best basically going out with prosthetics and with makeup artists really experimenting with uh prosthetics and their art Artistry, and I feel like it's creating a variety of looks that are really framing new collections in an interesting way. I cannot wait to see more prosthetics to be being used in runway shows. I feel like we're going to be seeing a lot of that, especially in the next few coming seasons. And this, like, this was very well done. I really do like how this these looks turned out. And again, you do see a lot of different models um, employing different looks. Like nobody looks quite the same which is really fun and really interesting to me so again love this show I really like how it turned out next I have to talk about Louis Vuitton so Pat McGrath did the makeup for Louis Vuitton this was inspired in part by Madonna during the 80s and they had like elongated black wings with dramatic cut creases colorful contouring very like chiseled very dramatic and then for the lips they had like this red lip but to add a little bit of dimension and to make things look a little bit more three-dimensional they decided to like apply a little bit of like a glossy texture to the lips so this prevents the look from looking flat and in general the look itself it was very 80s but I feel like in the context it captured like a sense of modernity and it looks quite modern it looks quite fascinating I really do like this look I mean you guys know that I don't really tend to be attracted to a lot of like neutral looks but I feel like this is so iconic and so dramatic I am just naturally drawn to it anyway I love this look and I especially love how it just added to the entire show again Pat McGrath is just such an amazing visionary it's such an amazing artist I love love the looks that she does for fashion weeks if you ever look her up or like look and see any interviews that she's done like you can definitely tell that she takes inspiration from a lot of different eras from a lot of different um avenues and i feel like this is just so incredibly her next i want to talk about this brand called marine Ser. now um, I've said it before and I'll say it again, a lot of these brands, I don't really know uh, where they come from, I don't really know much about the brands themselves, but whenever I see an amazing makeup look from these brands, I do want to spotlight it. The makeup artist was Janine Witherspoon and they worked with a variety of elements to create this very futuristic, very just LED lighting themed uh, selection of makeup looks. It does seem that the brand does work with a lot of recycled and reworked materials, that seems to be their theme, and then they ended up trans transferring that to the beauty looks by employing the use of LED lighting, facial charms, and these silver faces, which was of course created by Witherspoon. They also had a lot of like really destructured wings, and I really like how it turned out. It adds something to the collections. You're able to use the model's makeup looks to really frame the clothes in a nice way, and yeah, I mean, I think it looks good. I think it looks interesting. I definitely love these pictures. Like, they look so fascinating and so beautiful. My favorite look from this show was definitely the LED 
funky legs look, but of course they also have the silver faces, they have like the really structured wings, they have a variety of looks that were like really just thrown into this show, which I really do like. So moving on, I have to talk about, this is something that I'm really, really into, Mason Margiela, Ma Mason Margiela, Ma Maison Margiela. Can't pronounce it at all, very sorry about that. But John Caliano is the creative director for Maison Margiela, and the makeup artist was Pat McGrath. I love the woman, I love her work, and the inspiration for this was Swan Lake. Now, as somebody who used to be a ballet dancer, I will say that a lot of times when somebody from a dance background sees Swan Lake as being the inspiration for something, a lot of times it's just done in a very like mundane way. I mean, once you see like a lot of Swan Lake themed things, you start getting a little bit bored by the theme and you start like being like, mm, okay, you know, what else can I get from this? Like, this looks a little bit boring. I'm not too excited by this. But the way that this was done was brilliant in my personal opinion. Three male models in the show were brought out to look like these are really just like dark ethereal versions of swans. They had razor sharp eyebrows, they had a plumed head, and a very defined winged eye. Now not everybody in the show had this look, uh, but you definitely saw this like sort of like theme basically reverberated throughout the entire show. Like everybody had like this like really just like, you know, edgy kind of look to it. And I also want to focus on these three male models. They look absolutely beautiful. Like I love how they took the theme of Swan Lake and they just basically made it so edgy. They made it so like interesting. They basically made it so um, out of the box and so extraordinary, which I really did appreciate. I really enjoyed this show. Um, and this particular look is probably one of my favorites from the entire season. Now, something else that was equally like just very startling but very interesting as well was the beauty look from the show Andreas Kronthaler for Vivian Westwood. Now, <laughs> I can't pronounce names. I'm very sorry about this. But is my aunt French? You guys know how much I love her. Basically created this like really super sized false lash effect. Like these lashes touched the model's eyebrows. Like they, they were that like just really dramatic. I love this look. I mean, I just think that it's so like interesting. Like the lashes are super sized. The entire like look is just elevated with like this simple addition. The lashes are metallic. The eyeliner is very dark. And this entire look basically came together very beautifully. It's very striking, very unusual. And it's very simple, but it's very just uh, out of the box in its simplicity. It's very just... Very interesting. I love how this look turned out. I think it's absolutely fascinating. Now, I also have to talk to you about Dries Van Noten. Now, the makeup artist for this show is Peter Phillips. Now, he created a messy glitter eye, and there were two different uh, ways of doing this for him. One was a mix of silver and gold glitter, and then the other was a rainbow, just a ray of glitter. And this created this aesthetic that was kind of like grungy glitter. In a sense, it looks very interesting. And I actually have a quote from him, and it goes like this. I used medium-sized glitters and applied them randomly on the eyelid and under the eyes, and also sporadically glued some on the tips of lashes. I think this look came out beautifully. I feel like this is a subtle way of wearing glitter because it's not opaque. It's like a fine film of glitter on the eyes and as he said a little bit on the eyelashes as well. So it's a subtle way of wearing glitter but at the same time it is like a fun accessory and then again it brought together the collection quite beautifully. This fashion house is known for creating like really just bold and really interesting designs and this is again in my opinion an example of a fashion house basically making a makeup look that's a little bit out there, but at the same time rather subdued, so the clothing is a center of attention. Then I also want to talk about Valentino. Now Valentino was actually one of my favorite designers when I was obsessed with fashion, and it still is one of my favorite design houses. Pat McGrath did the makeup look for this show, and she did a variety of different uh, colorful eyeshadow looks. She had red, emerald, and lavender, and this is a very simple kind of colorful makeup look. But then again, Valentino is very uh, classic in their designs. They're, they're classic, but with a twist. They have a lot of edge in their collections, but 
all together, uh, the collections that they have are quite feminine and they uh, reflected that quite brilliantly with the makeup look. You know, the makeup look itself was very soft, it was very blended, it was colorful, but at the same time it wasn't very structured. It still had this like ethereal elegance, if you will, this slight ethereal nature. It wasn't too like structured, it wasn't really just like um, a va va voom. It was more like, hey, I decided to wear colorful eyeshadow today and I'm doing so in a very understated manner. A little detail that I also noticed that I found super, super fascinating was the fact that the models basically had their earrings match their eye looks, which I think would be a really fun like thing to do. Like, I feel like having your earrings correspond to your eyeshadow, I've done it before, and it's a really great way to just make your entire look come together quite beautifully. I feel like that's something that I'd like to see more of. And maybe it's something that we can incorporate into our makeup routines, basically do these like dramatic like colorful eyeshadow looks and have like the earrings just correspond to the eyeshadow looks. I feel like that would be absolutely beautiful. And yes, this is not like my cup of tea when it comes to a colorful makeup look. It's a little bit understated for me, but I still love how it turned out. I also have to talk about this makeup look for Guillaume Batista, Guillaume Batista Valley, Guillaume Batista Valley, Guillaume Batista Valley. It's a very complicated name and I have absolutely no class so I cannot pronounce it. But Val Garland was the makeup artist for this particular show. And she basically had these Silver Falls lashes and she placed them along the lower lash line. She also did a graphic white liner on the top lash line and the whole effect was really framing the eyes in a very just like just graphic but still very artistic way. This honestly reminds me of like a modern a modern art sculpture. It looks very interesting, very structural, very just um, out of the box, kind of extraordinary, but still, again, very simple. I've said this before in many of my videos, a lot of fashion houses decide to create kind of understated, kind of simple makeup looks so as not to overpower the clothes. And in this way, I think it's simple, but at the same time, it's very out of the box. It's kind of extraordinary. It keeps your attention a, a little bit longer than a normal, just boring, simplistic makeup look will. I love how this turned out. It's very three-dimensional, but again, quite understated. The lips are very unsaturated. The cheeks and like the entire face is like just very just, um, I would say like not, uh, not a lot of color there, but the eyes are definitely the main focus of this and it's done in a very subtle but still very just eye-popping way. Then I have to talk about Dior. Dior is particularly fascinating because Peter Phillips was the makeup artist for this show. He was taking inspiration from the 60s youth culture in London and he employed the use of black eyeliner to create these very like just uh, very 60s mod, very just simple but still very graphic shapes. And I actually have a quote from him and it goes like this. It's raw English style, very rough, heavy-handed. He applied a base of black cream eyeshadow and then on top he applied a liner in black for like a really just like deep dark uh, black effect for the eyes and then the lips had a little bit of a gloss to them but like on the whole the entire look was very minimal very bare but the eyes were like the mainstay of the entire look the eyes were the uh, main event if you will so my friends that is it for this selection of beauty looks from Paris Fashion Week this is the end of fashion month and it kind of feels a a little bit sad because I love doing these videos but I will be doing these uh, fashion uh, videos when the next fashion week comes out. I think next is couture week and then another ready to wear fashion month so I'm very excited about that. I will be doing videos. I will be covering all those shows. Well not all of them because like, there's so many about but I will be covering my favorite makeup looks or not so favorite makeup looks from those shows and if you are willing to catch up on my other runway makeup looks be sure to click the cards up there. I'll try and put the appropriate videos and playlists in the cards for your enjoyment but that is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting thank you so much for watching till the end and i will see you in my next video bye guys